Hello, and welcome to part two of the Broadbent Institute's 2021 Progress Summit. My name is Ed Broadbent, and I am the chair of the Institute. Bonjour tout le monde, bienvenue au sommet sur le progrès. Thank you for tuning in from across Canada and from around the world. I'm speaking to you today from Ottawa, which is located in the unceded territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabe Nation. I would also like to recognize that you are joining us from many places near and far, and we acknowledge the traditional owners and caretakers of those lands as well. We're particularly excited about this year's Progress Summit, given it's the Institute's 10th anniversary. And this year's summit is being co-hosted with some exceptional international partners, the Foundation for European Progressive Studies, the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung, and from the U.S., the Roosevelt Institute. We hope to be back together again for an in-person progress summit in Ottawa in early 2022. This year's summit is online and split into three parts. The first session was in March and it focused on progressive taxation and who will pay for the pandemic recovery. Today's session will fix on the serious holes in our social system that COVID has revealed. And part three of the summit will be in June and will deal with social movements and progressive leaders and how they can come together to win on these critical issues. For the next few hours, we will be engaged in a rich discussion of how to build a caring economy to speed recovery. This is a topic of particular importance, of course, to social democrats and other progressives. It has long been a priority of the social democratic movement that people have social and economic rights as well as political rights. That is, our rights don't begin and end with the act of voting, as important as that is. We also have the right to life of dignity with public health care, public education, and public retirement benefits. These social and economic rights are stipulated in the UN covenants. Our institute recently released the Broadband Principles for Canadian Social Democracy, six principles that describe an exciting social democratic vision with social and economic rights at the core. A caring economy is not a nice to have, it's a must have. Publicly delivered health care and education and retirement benefits hold us together as a society. They increase our quality of life. And when these services are turned into simple economic commodities, the ongoing catastrophe in long term care homes is the sort of tragic result that ensues. The evidence is clear privatized long term care homes have higher COVID death rates than public ones. Why? because the private sector works well for many things, but when it comes to healthcare, the constant cost cutting delivers degraded care, more illness, more dead people, and more grieving families. This pandemic has revealed so much of what needs fixing in our society. We need to return to long-term care for our publicly funded healthcare system and include coverage for prescription drugs the system has done in every country with the publicly funded care. We need to ensure that our kids can get back to a robustly funded educational system that makes excellent in-person learning a priority. And we need to ensure that repeated promises for a national child care system are finally delivered here in Canada. We need to get women back into the workforce and ensure that all those in the caring economy have decent, stable jobs, including employer-paid sick days, which should be a standard for all work. We need to ensure that the system of income support matches the challenges of the post-pandemic period. I hope you find the next few hours interesting and inspiring, and that they give us energy to make a positive change that is necessary in the days ahead. Mm -hmm.